Hi programmers, today I'm going to work on showing you how to do some reusable labels and there might not be a whole lot of methods that this would come in handy but um, right after I learned how to do it that it was possible I found something to use every day in an everyday program so it's not just for you know um, writing games or artificial intelligence you can just use this in your regular business uh, programs. Anyway, let's get going. Um, I was asked to write some talent scoring content, talent contest scoring software. Previously, they'd just been doing it on pencil and paper, so I looked at all their forms that they were using, and I designed some tables. You know, and one of the tables was I call it questions because I didn't know what else to call it. I couldn't think of the name. But basically, it is it's scoring. Um, let's see if we can find the spec. Like I created these five labels called Title One through Title Five and Memo One through Memo Five. Okay, and what it is is whenever a score sheet comes up based on the category that they're doing, whether they're um, you know it's an arts and craft or their drummers or um, singing or whatever they've got this five list of questions and like one of them a title I called it and the next one was a memo and these here was exact I just typed these right off those sheets of paper that they gave me and put it in a table because they're not going to change and uh, anyway let's go back and so you know that could be kind of tedious every time something change is to fill up this memo. Let's try to run this. Okay. I've got more stuff running on the PC. It did run pretty quickly a second ago, but then I opened up that database, and this is not a real fast PC. And another thing, too, when we go to pick the score sheet, the resolution was all messed up, and, and I didn't want to take the time to fix it for this PC because I'm not doing it on this PC. This is just what I record on. Anyway, I got my talent contest software up here and let's say that if I want to either create a new one or an old one, I have to select you know, a subcategory, which it doesn't really have to be this, but you have to have something selected in case you're going to do a new one. It's going to pick whatever you're selected in a judge. And then here, you know, I can hit enter or, or control F or something else. And you'll see how the resolution was messed up. I did pull the page down so I could get the buttons, but other than that, I wasn't going to mess with this. If you was doing something for real, you would want this grid. You, you, you would not want all this black space here. You would want just a tiny little line just enough for a scroll bar okay well anyway but that's we're gonna pick um let's see we'll pick this guy and you'll see we've got all these questions these five what they're gonna score on but then if I change categories like short story the questions change okay or ensemble they all change and so that could be a real bear trying to fill up those labels every time. Well, I'll show you guys a easy way to solve that problem. If we can get the source code up. Okay. All righty, and I'll show you what we did. You know, I already showed you that we created those labels and we gave them a name. Well, then we go through here and we create an array of labels. And you can do this for a lot of stuff. I've done this for um, uh, other things, too. And um, I can't remember if I'm this program or a different one I was doing. But uh, you can use the same theory for other things, too. Anyway, uh, I created a private array of labels. And I call it title label. And I created a second one private label with the array brackets memo label and then when in the load um, you assign this to the array like title label one two three four five and the same with um, memo label and so that just sends a reference 
So this means that anytime you talk about memo array one, it, it you're really talking about memo label one. And um, it's kind of a different concept, you know, like the, the PC languages like Pascal and uh, C and C sharp, they use references. So like if you're an old time program, it might be kind of harder to get a handle on this because um, it does things different, but it is kind of neat, it's handy. So anyway, so we've loaded these labels. So every time we reference one of these array labels, it really means the label that we put on the form, okay? And anyway, and any time I go to find those questions, whether I'm pulling up a new um, score sheet or whether I'm changing the subcategory of the old score sheet, um, I'm gonna have to fill up those forms, okay? And so I just, you know, I did a database call to grab my um, questions, and then I uh, parsed it out, and then I just said this, like, title array um, label, and this uh, QID was, let me pull this up, was this number here, QID. So we had one to five, and so you have to be careful setting this up. And you just set it up, and that's all you do. And that was a lot less work than a big monster if statement. And it's a lot neater, and it's cleaner. And you can do this for a whole lot of things. And so I thought that was kind of neat, and I thought that might help you guys too. So anyway, you guys give that a try, and happy programming.